Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to show you the team I'm going to use for this raid boss event against the buried Zulgoth. Important you use the event captain, Prince Basalt, in this has times two magic and earns time to score for this event only. So grab him from the shop, you'll get him in tier two, absolutely guaranteed. Be really careful not to buy the very first tier, the sort of goldeny one, which costs a lot of gems and it basically makes you buy everything all at once it is kind of good in the long run if you're going to go this far anyway because you do pick up an extra orb of chaos but if you're going to only get a couple of tiers for example in this or you're not going to go particularly far then um just buy the tiers normally it's worth buying up to tier three because you get the very good elemental fury excellent weapon explode magic plus one brown gems grants a random status effect to all nexus allies then summons a nexus troop so really good if you're going to go this far anyway like i say you will effectively pick it up for free when you buy tier three so yeah tier one and tier two absolutely essential though to get prince baz out and if you can get him charged up or upgraded to a mythic level right so let's um take a look at this team i'm going to go for osia's tome two times queen ash and baz out we are restricted from troops from the nexus kingdom this is in the Soul Forge right now. Explodes four gems for each blue ally and each elemental ally. So this is going to be a complete board explosion every single time. Because we have all elementals and we have three blue allies. So we've got like four, seven, what's that? 28 gems going to be exploded. That is going to be a board wipe every single time. Generating absolutely tons of mana for the team. And that is going to work even if you're a newer player. It doesn't need high magic like some of the other weapons to be effective. Queen Ash does magic-based heavy splash damage to the second last enemy, boosted by a brown gems and allies, pulls them to the front, then creates three elemental stars, which can again generate plenty of mana for the team. But also has a couple of really cool traits as well. In fact, they're all good for this. Create a brown gem when my turn begins. We've got two of her in the team, so that is going to be two brown gems. Stone skin, reduce damage from skulls by 50% and give two magic to all elemental allies when matching brown gems. Of course, we don't need it for the hero because we're going to explode loads of gems anyway. But if you don't have the Osha's Tome, for example, and you put in another magic-based weapon that does damage, then she is going to give a lot of magic to um, the team, which is really, really cool. And again, time is two of that because we have two of, there in, two of her in the team. So very handy indeed. And Prince Buzzout will be here to bash the boss on the head deals magic based damage to an enemy if they're a boss deals three to five times damage based on his ascensions creates three elemental stars so save this spell for a bashing zorgoth around his moldy courgette bonds don't really care about the third trait but um the first one is very handy indeed create a brown gem when my turn begins so we're going to be creating brown gems all over the place with this team which is going to get the damage dealers up really really quickly Right, so let's just take a look at the banner for this. Kraken banner, really, really good. Plus two brown, plus one blue, minus one purple. Lots of brown, lots of blue. Excellent stuff. Elemental this class, absolutely fantastic. No 50% start with this, but yes, yeah, start with a potion of enchantment as well. So no great shakes, we'll get charged up quick enough. Snap freeze is good, as is impact. Insulated, stone circle, even more stuff benefits from that storm aura create a dust storm at the start of battle combined with those brown gems appearing is going to create so much brown for this team it's ludicrous rock solid get a barrier when matching brown gems which we'll be doing all the time stone mastery even more brown bonuses and fortitude absolutely great stuff all right let's jump in and do the first scrap i'll only show a couple of these low level ones and i'll jump forward a little bit no need to show these super early levels very very straightforward there you go there's our a barrier we look for some blue or yellow get the weapon up now this is going to explode everything uh, bar a couple of straggly things in the corner but we'll let them off then yeah very simple on these first stages stick on medals of nisha if you want to increase your damage on your damage dealers or a medal of arnu if you want to stick on a 20 percent mana start for your weapon I've jumped forward a little bit to the battles against Buried Zulgoth. Save your Prince Baz out of damage to bash him around the head. Get him sorted out nice and fast before he has a chance to cast his spell. You can take someone out with skull hits if they appear. We get this, does the splash damage. 
sorts them out. And um, yeah, I was going to say you can then cast your Prince Baz out, but things just happened by themselves. Very nifty indeed. Let's crack on with the next one. Always look to get your weapon up first and foremost. If there's a nice little collection of yellow there, there it is. Thank you very much. Explosion of absolutely tons of gems. You can collect these first if there's an extra turn. Guaranteed more mana. Let's cast our Queen Ash. With tons of damage. You can then cast the second one if you so desire, or the first one again, whichever you prefer. And then you use Prince Bazout Face to take out Zoli Boy before he has a chance to get excited and think he was going to do something. He thought he was going to do something. He was surely mistaken. Mine was not the face of concern. Looking around for yellow. And again, look at them explosions. Really, really cool. Can you take a look around, see if you can convert this into a extra turn, something like that. We can by collecting this red, which is going to drop the purple down to there, which is going to drop them to down to there. Maybe. That might happen. It did. Let's cast that. A load of mana everywhere. Do the damage. Kaboosh! The shell kaboosh, when you do the damage, it does more. The bit about it does more may not be true. It just sounds good. Well, I think so anyway. Loads of mana everywhere. Not really charged up on the second Queen Ash yet, so we'll just grab a little bit more mana first. Soften up Zuli Boy. Let's give Queen Ash a bit more um, credit. No, I, I was good. I'm glad I've done that. I knew there was a reason. Because it says, this is the daft bit about her, watch this. There was 92 in this case, heavy splash damage to the second last enemy. But there is no second last enemy. This is why it's important to save your bottom troop. That's out face. Because second last enemy, it's not going to hardly do any damage. Watch his damage. He's got 62 life. We'll do that. He done nothing because it's splash damage. And she's, I don't know if she goes cross-eyed or something, you know, near the end of the battle when there's only one battle left it's like she can only see a second last enemy she's the shortest someone there somewhere just goes wanging her sword around or whatever she's doing or whatever weapon she's got so yeah you do have to finish off with this guy so just bash him around the head and remember not to cast your uh, queen ash when you're down to zulgoth on his on his todd when he's on his todd don't cast queen ash she gets confused she swears there's someone else somewhere. It's a bit weird. But certainly very effective on getting rid of the first lot. Gotta make sure you cast Prince Buzz out. Right, I'm gonna show just one more battle and that will do, I think. Nice straightforward, easy team to use. Simple mana generation, high damage dealing from um, Queen Ash. And then the God Slayer finishing off. So much mana gen from this, it's fantastic. They're both up. Kiaboosh. Do that again. And they're up again. And the God Slayer does his job. There's the video. Remember to grab your rewards from the rewards section at the end. We'll do that now, just for the crack. Thank you very much. Chuck it all in the bag. Vault keys, gem keys, event keys, diamond, souls, gold. Excellent stuff. There's a video. If you enjoyed it, found it useful, helpful, be really cool if you thought about bashing that like and the subscribe button. Don't think too long, though. It's free, so you can just bash it anyway. Jedi mind trick. Go on. Might have worked. Mm, might not have done. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you again next time. Bye for now.